Hi, this is Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Take a look at the ability to do P to A MOBs on the upper thoracic or any place in the thoracic spine. We typically do it in the clinic. We might do it, definitely do it prone. We do PAs. Sometimes people do it sideline. But sometimes in the clinic, it's quicker, easier, and you get you could actually talk to the patient because they're lying supine. What I'll do is I'll take my hands underneath it, and I'll show you in a second, and I'll just do my PAs in supine. Good technique, easy. For this one, we're gonna go up to his, what I consider more like T1. How do I know I'm in T1? Is I can come posteriorly, palpate between it. I know if I push through here, right? I know C7, right? There should be um, no movement because I'm not feeling it. If I go down one, oh, T1 moves when I push down the ribs. So let's say I'm on T1. Now I'm gonna go outward a little bit. I'm on the transverse process or where the facets would be. The bottom hand is kind of doing, is doing a P to A motion. That, I'm gonna exaggerate it in that motion. This hand is just, I just put it there to kind of bring it back. So it's not really doing much. So I push them towards the ceiling. There's my P to A and then I bring them down. Go to the next segment, P to A and back down. And I can keep going up until I feel a segment that doesn't move very well. The cool part about that is I can also go now to the first rib and the second rib. So I can come out, I feel my spinous process, I move out, I could feel kind of where the rib comes into the transverse process, a little bit lateral, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing P to A, and then I'm bringing it back. Then I do rib number two, it's usually kind of tender, it's a little tight on Donis, right? And I'm pushing up on it, and I'm bringing it back. So this hand is, again, I could do that, but sometimes it's nice to have that feeling. I'm bringing it back to neutral. And for Donis, this, the rib number two seems to be the tightest, less spring. You know, we did a different video on spring with awareness. So we would come through, we would take up the slack, and I try to go more, and it's pretty stiff. If I go to the one below it, I take up the slack, and I could spring it a little bit more. All right, so don't always get stuck on being doing a technique in a certain position. One of the osteopaths I, I, I know would say in the clinic, this day we're doing everything supine or everything prone or everything um, standing. So it gives you more options. So today we did everything laying down. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.